Welcome one and all to The Late Show. I'm your host, Stephen Colbert, and I am so happy. You know what? I can tell you're happy. I'm happy to be here tonight. I'm happy here is here tonight. Because it's a little dicey the last 24 hours. Because remember uh, when Trump killed the top uh, Iranian general, uh, Qasem Soleimani, and everybody was like, was this World War III? <laughs> well, I'm happy to announce it's not World War III. <laughs> it's not. Isn't it nice? We had to. It ain't no World War III. I don't know if you can tell, but we made most of this graphic when we were a little more nervous. <laughs> but it's not. Here's the thing. Mm -hmm. It's not World War III, and that's wonderful. But it's not like nothing happened. Last night, Iran fired 22 missiles at two military bases in Iraq where American troops are stationed. The attack happened at 5.30, and for hours, we knew nothing. Then at 9.45 p.m. Eastern Time, our commander-in-chief tweeted at a worried nation, All is well. <laughs> missiles launched from Iran at two military bases located in Iraq. Assessment of casualties and damages taking place now. So far, so good. <laughs> We have the most powerful and well-equipped military anywhere in the world, by far. I'll be making a statement tomorrow morning. Well, there it is. There it is. Now you know. That's what he's So saying. important. Right there. So important. Uh -huh. Right there, in black and white, reassurance from the commander-in-chief that there is absolutely nothing uh, to... Well. Oh, no! Uh, well. Oh, no, it's uh, the Late Show's well. All is Well uh, alarm. Well. John, quick, uh, get the happiness well. football. Uh, quick! All is well. All uh, is well. All right, uh, do you have your key, well. John? Do you have yes, your key? Yes, yes, yes. Uh, all right, insert your key. Okay, okay. okay. Insert your key. Go, okay, and on my uh, mark. Okay, okay. Three, uh, two, well. one. Uh, all is well. Uh, uh, Good work, John. Woo. Thank you, John. Good work. Oh. It's okay, folks. It's okay. We've achieved DEFCON fine. <laughs> now, you'll remember after the Soleimani strike, Trump tweeted a low res image. <laughs> of an American flag. And I guess to drive home the point that this was retaliation for what Trump did, an Iranian official tweeted this. Aha, <laughs> uh -huh, they're fighting with clip art now. It's meme. It's meme warfare. <laughs> Trump will have no choice but to hit back with, Ermagerd, we're at war. <laughs> then. Oh my God. Then. Nope. Oh nope. My God. Don't spoil me. <laughs> then, as promised, this morning, Trump emerged to address a worried world from what looked like a live nuclear reactor. <laughs> oh, my goodness. The president started his statement with a weirdly abrupt greeting. As long as I'm president of the United States, Iran will never be allowed to have a nuclear weapon. Good morning. Strange. It's very strange. It's a very strange hello. As long as I'm your dentist, your fillings will never be composed of mashed up other people's teeth. Hello, I'm Dr. Didworth. <laughs> oh my gosh. Trump was uh, quick to claim victory. Iran appears to be standing down, which is a good thing for all parties concerned and a very good thing for the world. Iran appears to be standing down. And thanks to an elaborate system of ropes, pulleys, and mirrors, I appear to be standing up. <laughs> Pretty good. <laughs> Thank you for your service, <laughs> David Copperfield. <laughs> now... All reference. All reference. <laughs> of course, it wouldn't be a Trump speech without some misspeeching. The civilized world must send a clear and unified message to the Iranian regime. Your campaign of terror, murder, mayhem will not be tolerated any longer. America has achieved energy independence. These historic accomplishments change our strategic priorities. Rest easy, America. <laughs> that is the man deciding who ligs and who dives. 